Hello, it's Rob from RobNonPhoto.com with a quick look at a photo book I've been looking at over the last couple of weeks. Uh, Nothing Personal by Richard Abaddon, published, well, first published in 1964. Um, Richard Abaddon, the famous fashion and portrait photographer, but this is a much darker um, work. Um, Abaddon is also well known for his. Um, photography of the civil rights movement in uh, America and so there's definitely a strong flavour of that running through the book and also his more personal work that he did with in, um, lunatic, lunatic asylum inmates as well. So first things first, I mean this is a rather battered copy from the local library. It's a huge photo book, huge photo book um, with beautiful looking prints on it. You can still buy it, but it's pretty expensive if you try and look for it on uh, Amazon.com. And basically, as soon as you start into it, you're faced with these huge prints. They're absolutely gorgeous to look at. Um, these, this particular set is from the civil marriage um, ceremony place at in New York City, I think. And then there's also this... Um, uh, essay that's running through the book as well that alludes to sort of all the sort of racial problems that have been go that were going on in America at the time. And so it's interesting, sort of 44 years later, 45 years later, to look at this book. I mean, the fact that you know the USA has just inaugurated its first black president, um, so it's definitely worth looking at. Again, as you can see, most of the prints are absolutely huge. Um, it's a real eclectic mix of different people. We have um, a judge, Billy Graham, the Christian evangelist. We have singers, you know, Everly Brothers, Fabian, society types, senators, poets, performance artists, uh, Joe Lewis's fist, students, politicians, George Wallace, governor of Alabama, Dwight D. Eisenhower, uh, there's Martin, Martin Luther King's son, um, Lana Turner's daughter, um, William Casby, who was born into slavery in America, Arthur Miller, probably one of my favourite shots, even though they've done it really, really small, is this candid shot of Marilyn Monroe. Another huge print there of uh, Linus Pauling, scientist. Bertrand Russell. Major Claude Earthley, who was a pilot at Hiroshima. And then we're into some of his more uh, personal work, which is um, the uh, images of the patients at the mental uh, hospital. Quite harrowing images, actually. And then the book ends up sort of on an on a optimistic high note, I guess you could say. Firstly, with pictures of people playing at the beach, having fun. <laughs> There's some really great images there. And then it finishes off with this great photograph of uh, members of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee in Atlanta, Georgia. Just a beautiful photograph. We've got a, uh, a sort of a group portrait, lots of different people, lots of different ages, different races. Um, and sort of the main subject here is gazing into the camera. Um, and if you can try and imagine the struggle that these people were going through at this particular time, and they're sort of they're looking at you, and I think they're sort of saying, you know, things will change. Um, and here we are, 40 years later, and it appears that they have, or at least they're well on the way to changing. So there we go, nothing personal. Um, Richard Avedon, uh, a surprise for me. When I ordered it, I didn't have a clue about uh, what would be in the book. I expected more fashion and celebrity portraiture, if you like. But instead, it's a much darker, much more personal work. Um, definitely worth getting out of the library, definitely worth looking at. And uh, just enjoy these huge, excellent black and white prints. Okay, that's Rob from RobNoFoto.com. Thanks for watching.